Hello, my YouTube fam out there. Today, as you can see, we're looking at a 1989D Roosevelt dime with unknown errors. And the only reason why I kept this this dime is because when I stuck it in a microscope, I'll show you on the big screen here. Look at those edges. I've seen I've seen uh, dimes that have been worn down, but not where it looks like it's a penny underneath a dime. I, I posted this on one of my other social media sites and I was told to go get this thing graded because it could be worth money because I mean look at that. That's a lot of wear and tear if that's wear and tear, but I don't think it's wear and tear because those ridges wouldn't be that smooth. That that'd be affecting the whole that would be affecting the whole dime. If it had that much wear and tear on it. So my YouTube fam out there, for this 1998 D-Dime, what do you guys think? Do you think I should go and get it graded and see if it's actually worth any money or just scrap it and say, hey, you know what, that's just an error? Because I, I think I might just have to go and get it graded because <clears throat> right here, we should have a, a W before it spaces and goes to the very outer edge right there. I'm gonna think I'm gonna get this thing graded and see if it's actually worth any money besides 10 cents. <laughs> I will keep you guys updated on all the progress I make for these coins. I mean, you gotta admit that's still pretty cool. The, all that wear and tear. But still, that's still pretty cool. So until next time, my YouTube fam out there, remember to always check your coins. Until next time, have a wonderful day.